this Monday morning, Deacon Aldrin Valdeweza will be ordained a priest by Bishop Anthony at Our Lady of the Rosary Cathedral in Waitara. He will join the Order of Presbyters along with two others, Deacon Roger Del Monte and Deacon Sam French, who is also known to many of us here at Chatswood, having undertaken a pastoral placement with us a little while ago. This is a very significant moment in these men's journeys of discipleship, as they are configured to the Lord in a new way, and in so being configured to the church, his body, also in a new way. It's also an immense joy for our diocese that the Lord gives to us three new priests to give expression to our own priestly character as those baptised into Christ. Join with me, please, in giving thanks to God for this wonderful moment, and we extend our warmest wishes to Deacon Aldrin and his confreres at this special moment. Given COVID, the number that can attend the ordination is very limited, but the ceremony will be available through live streaming. The ordination begins at 11.30 a.m. on Monday the 18th of October, the feast day of St. Luke. And then on Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. here at Our Lady of Dollars, Father Aldrin will celebrate a Mass of Thanksgiving as a new priest. Thankfully, he will be able to be joined by 150 friends and parishioners. This event too, given COVID, is limited in number and needs to be by invitation only. However, give, uh, again, do join us via live streaming. The link, of course, will be in the bulletin. We will be joined by many hundreds of people throughout both Australia and the Philippines. Should we reach the target of 80% vaccination this weekend and restrictions are further eased on Monday the 18th of October, Father Aldrin will celebrate Masses here uh, on the weekend of the 23rd and 24th of October. Uh, these will be a great opportunity to wish him our warmest regards in person. At the very latest, we will resume public Masses on the last weekend of October. And so our long sense of exile from the Eucharist is now quickly coming to its end. On Thursday, the 14th of October, this evening, our new parish initiative, our parish community action group, is to be launched online. This new endeavour invites us to become agents of change in our own neighbourhood. Our parish is optimally placed in the heart of the Chatswood CBD, with the heart of Mary at the foot of the cross. We are invited surely to become a place of support and care for the marginalised and needy of the mid-northern suburbs of Sydney. The stress is growing in our area, evidenced by the increase in people sleeping rough and by the significant increase in demand on food banks, domestic violence refuges, youth support services and mental health providers. Join us in this great opportunity, the details of which are all in our bulletin. As our church has reopened and we gather again, it is great to be able to share with you that our new glass doors at the entrance to the church are ready to become operational. These will be a great way to protect the interior of our church from the weather. And also work on the restoration of our parish. Parish bell is almost complete. And much wiring and cabling has been completed in the church at the service of the improvement to the sound system which is almost ready to be introduced, and uh, for our future AV and live streaming uh, capabilities. Again, our deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard over these months to keep our community connected. They have brought us through rough seas, safely to the other shore. May the Lord bless them abundantly as we now take our first steps in this new landscape after 100 days of lockdown.